Okay. So, Dennis, Dernian, welcome to Golf Torre Quebrada. Good to be back. All right. Great to hear, yes, because you were here in 79, correct? Long, long time ago. Long before you were born, anyway, that's oh, for sure. Oh, thank right. you very much. <laughs> and the place has, has changed like I cannot believe. Um, <clears throat> when we play golf courses throughout the world, you know, we have visions, you know, and I've not been back here since 79. And this was just an open field. And the greens were like greens I'd never played on in my life before. On the the little one, you know, the third hole, you know, which you can throw it on the green actually. And I think I took a six and a seven on it on the two days and it, it was, I missed the cut, but um, it was a wonderful experience, you know, to, to try to play on greens as, as severe as this, because these are probably one of the first ones at that time that were severe greens, you yeah, know, yeah, with yeah. big slopes on them, always before everything was flat. You know, it's, it's, if you go out, out the coast at Sotter Grande in this, they're all flat greens. And that's the way the old golf courses were designed. But this was designed, I think, in 76, I think. That's correct, yeah. So if you go back and remember a little bit, Golf Torre Quebrada was yes. opened in 76. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was 79 when we had the Spanish Open <coughs> played here. Yes. When we had Dale Hayes mm -hmm. as a winner. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the South African. I mean, he's a lot thinner than, then than he was now. Um, you know, but he... After, I think he won the Order of Merit that year um, in Yeah, 79. correct, correct. And he was one of the youngest as well, if I don't remember what, bad. Yeah. And he was supposedly, you know, going to go on to be the, one of the world's best. You yeah. know, but um, he enjoyed his life, you know, which we all did at that time. Could tell you some stories, but we mustn't be filming them at <laughs> the time, right? Okay. But, no, um, it's correct. So how did you find the course then? You remember the greens, but how did you find the course today? Oh, I mean, it was it just... It's just wonderful. I mean, got him a pensioner now, you know. So I just enjoy my golf, right, and play for enjoyment. And um, yeah, it's it's still nice to be able to hit some shots, hit some good shots. And uh, but I still get a buzz, what we call a buzz out of it, an excitement that I got when I was probably 16, you know, playing Oi. golf. And it's 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 difficult. I've been very lucky that um, I have that excitement because people, as as they get older, you know, they can they can lose the direction in life to a certain degree because they don't have anything to do yeah, you know yeah, and yeah, yeah. No, but virtually... golf, is, but golf is great for that yeah. no with your friends coming and yeah. enjoying the time the when social I'm at, life when i'm at home you know in the yeah. summer i virtually play golf yeah, every yeah, single yeah. day we said that dale hasey has probably the record being at that moment one of the youngest winning on the tour yes but you also have a record <laughs> yeah that was even smaller then uh, yes it, uh, it was in 1983 you know playing in the british open at St. Ant um, at royal birkdale you know, uh, completed the front nine in 28 shots. Oh, right. that's great, yeah. no? Yeah, but I missed a few holes out. They didn't, um, people didn't know about that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't, 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 don't. No, but so you say uh, there's a record which is not a true record, then you mean? Right? I, it still stands to this day. And yeah. I remember when I came in from the round, you know, and people saying, oh, do you think it'll, you know, ever be beaten? And I said, you know, in my lifetime, it may be equalled. I said, but I cannot see it being beaten. You yeah. know, and nobody has equalled it as yet. That's great. So it still stands. And, and you say you remember the 28, you don't remember the back nine. Uh, the back nine yes. was... It's, it's a very strange situation, I've, I've said to a lot of people, that um, on the front nine, it was, it was so easy, you know, and I actually only had 12 putts on the front nine, and I was out in 28. And after we'd played, you know, like the 10th, you know, every scoreboard, had a sign, Dernian, out in 28, you know, and it, the pressure built up and it built up. And actually on the back nine, I missed every single green, you know, and, but I came back in nine single putts, right? So I had less putts on the back nine than I had on the front nine, because I had 12 on the front nine, but I was 10 shots worse. <laughs> You know, so it's, it could be a good uh, trivial pursuit question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So were you a good putter in general then, when you were playing on the tour? Um, until I came to Torre Gabrada. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that sorted me out. It's, uh, um, but it was a good exercise then when you went to play the Open in 8 3 Well, the thing is, Open Greens cannot have greens like this. Mm -hmm. If you go to the seaside in the UK, yeah. um, if they have greens like this and the wind blows, then you can't play. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? You just yeah, blow the right, ball blow, blow away, right. totally. And... You know, to a certain degree here, you probably find if the winds get too strong, you know, the green keepers have got to be very dangerous, very careful of where they put the, put the flags. So yeah. Predominantly, um, the, course, the courses that have greens like this are new courses because between, as I was saying, between the, you know, the years of the early 70s to the years 2000, you know, it was, this was the design, all the designers putting big humps and lumps and slopes and 
going in all different directions, which basically every course in the States become, but then people are going away from that to a certain degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, well, when you look at Torre Quebrada, and if you go back here, you know, with the major course as it is now compared to when you were here then in 79, we are 39 years later now. And the course, it's uh, the players are coming here, they thoroughly enjoy it because of uh, the nice design of Pepe Gancedo, which I mean, is challenging, no? Yeah, this, the golf club, the, uh, just as you drive in, you know, the the ambience of the place, if that's the right word, I don't know, but it's, it's spectacular, you know, and there's so many shots um, out here that, you know, you've got to shape one way or the other, you know, to, to go with the, the contours of the hole, you know, with plenty of water, and it is, it is very, very enjoyable, you know, to come and play this course, and the, of all the courses on the strip here, because yeah. I've played, played many, you know, around this area from here to Gibraltar, yeah. Um, you know, this is always one of the ones that stuck in my mind. You know, probably one of the first Spanish songs I played in. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, but it's coming back has been. It's. I can't put it into words how oh, this was a field. And now it's spectacular. Yeah, that's right. You and know, we still and have the mountains there. We have the view over the sea. There are so many villas around, you know, but none of them are in play. And they're all discreet. And they're all nice. And you look at some of the ones on the top of the hills over here, you know, to the right. I mean, they're... Multi multi millionaires live there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you understand that they are coming down here to this area, enjoying yeah. the sunshine as we have right now here in February. This now. is February, and, it's and there's snow in the majority of the places oh, now in uh, northern Europe. I was in England yesterday and it was awful. Yeah, <laughs> really yeah. it was so wet and so cold, and every golf course in the area is closed, yeah, uh-huh. you know, just with the, the conditions. And, Perfect, know. Dennis. Well, it was a pleasure to have you here, and, and we we'll do back hope again. to see that's, no. that's what we hope as well. Continue to enjoy staying here with them. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome.